Hello guys, and welcome to Foam Test. Today I will be showing you a toothpick glider. This is something I just made the other day when I was looking on YouTube, saw some inspiration for it, and I figured, yeah, maybe I'll try one make one myself. And I did, it flies great, and, well, also, as you can tell, it flies in small areas, I'm not at the field today, I'm in my living room, actually, shooting this video. And, yeah, it's a very good glider, and then, eee. Okay, here's some techniques for throwing your toothpick glider. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is how to hold it and how to get different effects. If you hold it back here is good, just like all all around, just general good way to place to hold it. And then the other way you can hold it, so if you're outside and it's windy, I've noticed that if you hold it on the nose and you throw it straight up, it'll usually like maybe do a loop and climb, but then it'll glide down really nicely after that. But just for general use and throwing it around indoors, you're probably gonna wanna hold it right here. Okay here guys, now for a nice little glide test. And when you're tossing it for a glide, you're going to want to toss it pretty nicely. What I've noticed works well is if you kind of just move your arm forward like in this motion and then just let go. Don't try to like whip it at all because then it'll just climb and stall. But basically what you're going to want to do is just go like that and it glides pretty well. Okay, I got that. Let's see if we can get it to glide through the doorway this time. Okay, one more time here. We're getting closer. Okay, here we go. And that went in the garbage can. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's just a pretty good tutorial on just how to make it glide here. Now we're gonna do for some more acrobatics. Okay, here guys, now we're gonna try for some more acrobatic shots. First thing we're gonna try here is the loop. When you're going up for a loop, you're gonna wanna hold it usually generally back here and unless you have a high ceiling which well I really don't you usually want to throw it up then it'll do a loop and you'll be able to catch it and it'll glide nicely but since if you have lower ceilings like around eight foot ceilings like I do you usually have to throw it towards the ground and then have it loop this way it's pretty hard to get but once you get the hang of it you can usually do it so let's try for a loop there we go and that time, go figure, it went through the doorway. All those times I'm just trying to glide it straight through, nothing. And then the time I do a loop, it goes straight through the doorway. Well, I guess that'll be it for today, guys. I'll uh, hope make sure if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you guys next time.